It's 717 on this Monday morning. Now, after caring for patients that are unable to afford health care services in Chicago, Dr. Daniel Ivankovich decided to lead the charge and change the landscape of health care. He co-founded One Patient Global, an organization that helps provide health care regardless of a patient's ability to pay for it. It's amazing. It's so Honestly, cool. the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Now, because of those efforts, Dr. Dan was nominated for CNN's Hero of the Year just last year, and he's joining us this morning uh, to kind of talk a little bit about right. it. Tiny little guy over there, tiny little Dr. <laughs> Dan. What is it? You walked in, and it was seven feet of uh, kindness. Oh, yeah, well, it was. You know, with the uh, with the cold air, I brought it in dressed in black, a little <laughs> ominous, but very warm-hearted and happy to be here in this early morning madness. Right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So one patient, the initiative, you know, and I talked before about how, how it got started, and it really kind of got started based uh, from a natural disaster hundreds of miles away from Chicago. That's kind of where the inspiration came from. Well, it was. Uh, I think it was when we were in Haiti and we were airlifting spinal cord injured patients out, you know, we realized that this mass of, you know, chaos and trauma, it boiled down to the person that was in front of you and how you could impact their life. You know, I, I couldn't fix Haiti, I couldn't fix the chaos and madness, but that patient that I was with at that moment, and that sort of led to the movement for us. Right, so tell us a little bit about it. So what area are you in, and how is it that you're able to actually afford to take care of these patients who can't otherwise pay? Well, you know, the, the finances are definitely a challenge. I mean, you know, the, the landscape of healthcare in America has changed, even though People feel that, yes, with the Affordable Care Act, everyone has a little card that says you are covered. It's very hard to find a physician. I mean, in Chicago, there's almost a million people that are marginalized, and it is very difficult. For the past 20 years, we've treated tens of thousands of patients through, uh, you know, just coverage of areas that are underserved. I mean, if, if you look on the map, um, places like Roseland, Austin, Englewood, uh, nationally they're among the most impoverished and underserved areas and we just said look uh, disability in young people orthopedic in particular it's the number one disabling condition so you know things like broken bones that aren't properly treated arthritic joints that are neglected these folks eventually will end up in a nursing home and that costs as taxpayers we're paying tens of thousands right. of dollars so you know it's been a mission I mean I have a lot of fun doing it I don't have to wear a tie <laughs> yeah. you know I don't have to um, you know there, it's, it's a very very conforming medical world that I've been allowed to um, navigate in areas that most people won't go but it's been it's been amazing I mean the stories that we have I mean I've been putting together a book uh -huh. and just of our you know travel stories wow. and people that we've met along the way and helped it's a Chicago's an amazing city it's unfortunately one of the most segregated in America mm -hmm. and that means that you know people of color people of poverty are very disenfranchised and are not really welcomed into the system and you know we, we've done great work and uh, my wife Dr. Carla right. Ivankovic and I do um, you know do this every day. And you guys talking about comprehensive care too. It's not yeah, just right. you know right. you come in you serve them on the table and then they, they, and they surgery leave. as well, yeah. right? I mean well, you're yeah. talking about complicated surgeries. It, it isn't just a band-aid. Right. Well the the thing is that you, you don't just cut in people. I think a, the, these are transformational surgeries when you're doing a hip replacement, a knee replacement, or a major spine surgery. Many of these folks have depression, they have comorbid conditions, they have diabetes, obesity, so we spend weeks, months getting them you know, tuned up and ready so when you finally do the surgery, they, they do take their life back. It's very rewarding, very. Let's talk about CNN's uh, Hero of the Year nomination, and I highly recommend you take a look at the videos. I'm sure John mm -hmm. will put those up so you could yeah. see, you know, your story is just so motivating. How did you feel when they said, hey, listen, we, we see you as a hero? Pretty amazing. <laughs> Would you say, oh, I already know that? Well, no, I mean, <laughs> it's what we do every day. I mean, it, it's a very strange feeling when they call you and, and they say that because, you know, this is, I enjoy doing this. I mean, we're not, you got to have a certain mindset, possibly a little bit insane to do what I do, but the, the reality is I dig it. I enjoy <laughs> it. Every day that I get up is a chance to do something very positive and, you know, the, the, that they felt it. I think when you look at the 20 year body of work that we've created, it's, it's pretty amazing. But, you know, it just, it's a guy trying to make a difference every day. And uh, the fact that they honored it, uh, the coolest part, I thought, <laughs> Common introduced me. I mean, <laughs> oh, that was really? like, so he did cool. a whole thing and he, he gave an incredible, you know, opening, you know, for me. And the place went 
oh. nuts. I mean, how, how are you not inspired by it? But you know, at the end of the day, the awards are over, and you go back to living your life and doing what you do. You know? Now, you're, it's so interesting. You're such a fascinating guy because you play guitar in a band, oh, right, a House yeah. of Blues you played. Yeah. And nice. the, I, there you are. And I, I saw you post a photo on Facebook the other day. Did you play basketball at Northwestern? Yeah, yeah, I did. I mean, that was a, <laughs> that was two lives ago. That was a yeah. previous life, yeah. Well, when you're seven feet tall, I couldn't, I couldn't <laughs> play on the badminton team. Or, you know, I mean, we were, uh, th that's really where I was originally exposed to these areas. I mean, when I would play on the west and south side with my teammates, I thought like, oh my God, I mean, this yeah. is this is happening in Chicago, this is in the United States, and it was very, um, it was humbling and it was very mind-blowing, and it somehow I kept cycling in these communities, you know, as a basketball player, then as a musician, and now as a doctor. and. And I think, I think this is just where I'm supposed to be, you know. All right, Dr. Dan, it is yeah. awesome to meet you. John's been talking a lot about you. It's a pleasure. <laughs> thank you for coming oh, in. thank you. Uh, <laughs> Getting up at 5 a.m. is what I do every yeah, day. I was going to say, never say right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well. Uh, if you'd like some more information, you can head to onepatient.org. Uh, Dr. Dan, again, thank you so much oh, for coming. Oh, thank you, guys. This is awesome. great. Absolutely. And say hi to your wife, Carla, too. I, I'm going to bring her on next now. time. Yeah, we will. We'll bring her.